Hey y'all, welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. This is gonna be a very quick tutorial to teach you this really cool layout of two on top and three on the bottom row. This is all, of course, inside of the Divi page builder, and sometimes it's super easy to create a three column layout, four column layout, but how do you stack them if you need two on the top and three on the bottom, like this example? I'm gonna show you today really quickly how to make this happen. And of course, this is using the premium version of the Divi Builder inside of your WordPress website. So to show you how to build that out where you have the two column design on the top and the three column on the bottom, I'm just gonna go into my Visual Builder. So I clicked Enable Visual Builder. Let's go ahead and build from scratch. And of course, on the top, we want that 50-50 split. Awesome, we're just gonna add in an image module there for now, right? And for the sake of now, we're just gonna let that sit there. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that module, drag it over here so you can very quickly see the 50-50 column split. Super excited, super straightforward, right? But as soon as you add in another row with a three column structure, and we duplicate that image and drag it and drop it down. Because of our width, we're going to have an issue with these don't match, right? The top row is way too large in comparison. So what we want to do here is go up to our top row into the gear icon for that row settings, and we're going to go into the design tab and we're going to change the sizing or the width the max width of this. You might have to tinker and play around with how this looks, especially on a mobile device, right? So we'll wanna tinker and play. But for now, let's set it to maybe 800 pixels and take a look at it that way. All right, that's looking a little bit more comparable to the size of the images below. The other thing you can do is you can enlarge the row below. So if we wanted to go into this row setting and we wanted to stay on the sizing max width here, 1200 you could do that as well and go ahead and put in 100 percent in there if we wanted to that tells it to go ahead and extend out and click the check mark and you can start to see that they're already looking very comparable in size so you'll just kind of tinker and play back and forth with what width you need of course all of this is dependent upon the photo size that you put in there right but that looks very comparable where you have the two on the top and the three on the bottom. And you can of course just duplicate that and build out your structure any way you need to. But sometimes you don't want maybe two on the top, maybe you only want a single column. So I'm gonna show you one more quick one here of how to do it with that single column. Again, you're just going to shrink it down to your max width, right? So we're gonna go width 100% here and we're gonna say max width. Again, that would be the image size, right? So there you go. Here's a really cool triangular shaped design of the same size images, all stacked perfectly. And of course, on a mobile device, that should stack all the way down. You're gonna see though, here's, here's that width. That width is larger than this width. So, and this width goes edge to edge because we've got that 100% here. So you will have to adjust the mobile styling, right? So we'd go into that um, gear icon, into each row setting, go into the size and go into the size here. I'm gonna shrink this down just a little bit so you can see it. So uh, on max width here, we'd wanna go into our mobile, right? Max width here, and we'd maybe say 350, see if that's right. Nope, not percent pixel, that's still too large. I actually really like that size for mobile. So maybe we want to go here to this row setting and extend that one out. So let's go into sizing and let's do max width on mobile. And we're gonna say 350 pixel here. And up here on the top, we need to go into mobile and say 100% on mobile up here. And see how that now stacks those images beautifully. That third row that we have in here, of course, was 100%. So we need to go into that gear icon on mobile go to design sizing max width on mobile 350 pixel right there you go 
looks beautiful now on mobile so we've got that addressed let's go back to our desktop view just to double check and all of our images live at the exact same size if you're interested in having access to the actual mock-up that i showed you at the beginning of this tutorial i have this divi layout available for you in the blog link below you can export the json file and import it and it will be the exact layout that you're looking at right here I hope this has helped y'all. Obviously you're running on the Divi Builder, so please be sure to check out my entire playlist. I have so many videos all on the Divi Builder. Have a great one. Be sure to click like and subscribe. Come back and hang out here with me every single WordPress Wednesday. I'll see you next week. Bye everyone.